Hey everybody, at BV Matson here. I'm gonna tackle this. In all of my polishing videos that are online, people are always like, just use aluminum foil and water. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a try. Aluminum foil and water on a rusty fender. All right, right here, we've got ourselves some aluminum foil. We've got ourselves a little bowl of water. And we've got ourselves a pretty rusty fender off an old motorcycle. Let's clean this up and see if aluminum foil does the job. All right, as you can see here, this is off a 68 CB350. This is the current project on the bike and this thing is pretty dirty. So uh, we're gonna clean this thing up first before we hit the aluminum foil. Favorite thing to do when you got a new part, go grab yourself some super clean, crank this stuff up and let's degrease this part. I'm just gonna do this front half of it. Just clean it up, get all the gunk and muck off of it. I gotta say, I like myself some super clean. If you'd like to give it a try and support the channel, click the link in the description. I actually think this is the perfect part to try this on because we've got some really deep rust coming through and then we've got some lighter rust up on this top end. So I think it'd be a good comparison. So all the videos that I've seen on this is you want kind of a big hunk of paper or of aluminum foil and you want to crumple it up pretty tight okay pretty tight is what you're going for here and then you're going to dip it in the water kick it around a little bit we're going to start up top here and uh, we'll see what we can do with this and then we'll go from there all right i've got my aluminum foil and we're just going to lightly start working this spot i'm not pushing down really hard I am literally just kind of dragging it across the surface. People who swear by this say, you know, hey, this doesn't leave scratches. The aluminum foil is actually softer uh, than the chrome that is there. And supposedly, it does a really nice job of filling in gaps as well. I've tried this in the past and I wasn't completely blown away. In fact, one of the things I didn't like was kind of this nails on chalkboard feeling that you get <laughs> all the way up your arm into your shoulder and kind of down your spine as you're using this. So far so good. I mean, it is definitely cleaning off the rust. This is a pretty pitted part, but it's looking pretty good. Let's move down into some of these more aggressive areas. Let's really hit this spot and see if we can get that spot out just using aluminum foil. It definitely has come out. It definitely has come out. And it's actually looking okay. Let's give this a quick wipe. And let's just see what we've got. Not too shabby. All right, now let's get serious. It does fine on surface rust, on just some like light surface rust. But now let's go and tackle some of this gnarly, gnarly stuff that we got happening here. So let's just start going across it. Nice and light. See if we can make this rust disappear with just aluminum foil and water. This is some pretty hard, hard stuff going on here. This is deep all the way through the chrome, down to the bottom. Not sure there's much left underneath here. But you can see it's slowly kind of taking it away. I'm gonna keep working this. Now, one thing I'm noticing is that it's not really taking out any of the ripples. Um, some of the videos I've seen online, it's like, oh my God, it's like a miraculous transformation. And like all of these little ripple marks in the surface go away. I'm definitely not experiencing that at this point, but the rust is definitely gone. I mean, look at that side by side right here. It's, it is better, it's, it's definitely better. Is it perfect? Absolutely not, but it is kind of getting the job done. So let's kind of keep going a little bit and see where we can take this. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by how really quite easy this process has been. I do have that nails on chalkboard feeling going through my arm all the way down my back, which isn't the most fun. But for what it is, this is a pretty roached fender. 
we might be able to get this looking pretty respectable. All right, let's give this a little wipe. Now, for the perfectionists out there, probably not gonna cut it for a lot of you, but if you're on a budget build, I could see this working for a lot of people. Again, here you can see those little ripples in that. I don't think those are gonna come out, but let's hit this with a little chrome polish to see how good we can get it. All right, let's hit it here. I got some chrome polish right here. Just some basic turtle wax. You can get this off the shelf pretty much anywhere. If you're gonna to go to this much effort, you might as well protect that surface. So let's go ahead, get a microfiber going on here. And let's just apply some chrome polish and see if we can bring out any shine. All right, we've let this kind of fog up a little bit. Now I've got a clean rag and we're gonna come back and hit it. I mean, that is not too bad. Now again, the chrome is in terrible condition on this. But from a galloping horse, which is one of my favorite sayings, that doesn't look too shabby at all. All right, I'll buy into it. For a budget job to clean up some rust really, really quick, aluminum foil and water, balled up, works pretty damn good. All right, it can save that rusty old part that you got. So. Um, I, I, I might use it to knock a lot of stuff out. Um, I think the key to it to make sure the rust doesn't come back is that you do protect it with something. So get some wax on it, um, you know, clear coat maybe, not on chrome, you don't want clear coat chrome, but get some protectant on it so that rust just doesn't come bubbling back right away. Because once that starts to develop, of course that rust is going to come back. We're just trying to make it look respectable. And I do think that, uh, I mean, it worked. Can't beat that, that's like, a couple dollars uh, in materials to be able to do that. So, all right, aluminum foil and water definitely works. If you enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe, hit up the Facebook group, and if you want that free sticker, hit up that URL, keeponwrenching.com. I'll get a free Keep On Wrenching sticker out in the mail for you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video or live stream.